Hey guys, and welcome back to Command & Conquer. When we last left off, we are in kind of a rough position here, but... Pretty confident we can recover. Resources are going to become a little bit problematic, I think. Right, that should be good enough. But I have an idea, a cunning plan, which may or may not be cunning. Yeah, resources are literally the bane of our existence right now. But then, if I do say so myself, this mission was badly managed from the start. I have kind of screwed us. But it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna burn these fuckers to the ground again. Construction complete. Reinforcements have arrived. Building. That's fine. No, unguarded again. Nice. Need as many flame tanks as we can get. That's going to be problematic. That bastard that's tucked in right there. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay, that's problematic. Come on. No. Go drop your load. And we'll repair. Come on, repair. Ah. Right, hold fire for a minute then. Come on. We're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose it. Nope, we're good. Okay, that was close. That was way too close. I don't think we need you there. Alright, let's hold this guy off for him now. Okay, another couple of flame tanks. Not good, but also not the end of the world. All right, let's get you guys over there. Are oh, you fucking useless, moron? All right, go there. I'm not mad. Who said I'm mad? Yeah, we need to clear this out. I have a feeling if we take this base out, because what I did that um, last time, I actually destroyed this base first, and I think it was smoother. Reinforcements have arrived. Right, let's. What we could do. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, because they're going to oh, they're going to constantly build that back. So we've got this flame attack wave back. If only we could aggro him. I don't know if artillery can outrange these. Construction complete. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because we need to take and hold. We need to find out where the harvester is. Coming down here, maybe? Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, so the harvester's there. Okay. That's fine. If we can starve them of Tiberium. Then that could work out for us. They can't have a lot left. Let's get some um, light tanks in. Oh god. Oh fuck. 
Okay, that actually went better than I thought it would, to be honest. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. That's so broken. Right. Okay. Now, what are they going to attack? Construction complete. Reinforcements have arrived. That's actually quite cool. Oh no! See what happened there, guys? They got one load of Tiberium. And because they got one load of Tiberium, they are going to fully restock their Tiberium deposits. Because that's how it works. Come on. Yeah, it's really unfair how the... Um, Oh, I don't know what's going on with there, but I l with yes, that, sir. but I like it. Okay, cool. We cannot. Ah, oh, you dickheads! We cannot allow them to get. Anything. We're rapidly running out of units whilst these idiots screw up. Construction complete. Building. Come on. Enforcements have arrived. Get the money for a couple of these? No, just the one. Okay, I think they're now out of money. Which is kind of sweet. We don't want to harvest this either. On hold. Because if we harvest this, they will path to the next available Tiberium, which I believe, which I believe is over here. We can't do anything if they do that. I'm assuming he's trying to go back to their location. I don't know why he just continuously refuses to go down there. Okay. But it definitely looks like they're out of money, which means we control the whole Tiberium field. Let's get some recon going. What's the cheapest? I guess one of those. Construction complete. Have the trouble is, both armies are extremely exhausted. Yeah, so that's where their last base is. Might be worth... Might be worth, in that case... selling that for the now and just mining out this place building on hold cancel because that will stop the pathing problem with him building that might be worth it and we control all of the tiberium now Ready and Got it. the only thing we probably could use is some kind of decoy Where are they getting all this money from? Where are they getting all this money from? If they build another harvester, we need to keep an eye on that. Alright. Okay. Oh, come on. Talk about a tense final uh, mission. Hmm. Very sloppily uh, handled, I've got to be honest. Definitely could have managed this a lot better, but never mind. I think we're going to go in here and smash this place. Ooh. 
Ooh. Yes, sir. Roger. Ooh, guys, guys, guys. Yes, sir. Construction complete. What's up here? Moving out. Oh, we've got two engineers in there. Well, that was less than ideal. Shit. Come on, fuck off. Ooh. This is nice and unguarded. <gasps> right. So that's totally unguarded. Well, that's bloody good to know. We got a Chinook left. Ooh, guys. We could play a very dirty game here. Building. We could play a very dirty game here. And I like playing Building. dirty games. Unit That's fine. That's Unit kind of lost. what I was hoping was going to happen. Unit Construction complete. Right, you're ready to go. Building. We're going to want a couple of engineers. Unit ready. Building. Yes, sir. Maybe three for Unit redundancy ready. or four. Building. Let's start rebuilding Unit our ready. attack Building. team as well. Our assault force. Reinforcements have arrived. Because the best way to stop them rebuilding. Funny enough. Oh no. Best way to stop them rebuilding would be to capture their stuff. Because they can't rebuild what's already there. So let's make sure we own this. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. Although, Construction complete. they're going to have to do well. Let's get a harvester through that. Building. It's just trying to do a lot with a little. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements. So we really don't have a lot of money here. Construction complete. But we shouldn't need a lot. Yes. Right, there's no way they're taking that out with their meager forces. We can take all of their power bases, well their power plants too, which will completely fuck up their ability to use their advanced guard towers. Alright guys, I think this might be a winning a winning uh, idea. Mmm, Van Debbie Dozy. Don't want to lose the Chinook. Thought that might happen. Right. Go get them, boys! Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. You got it. Yes, sir. You got it. Yes, sir. Ready and waiting. Waiting affirmative. I don't know who else we can use here. JDI building captured. JDI building captured. Unit lost. Let's get another obelisk in that. Our base is under attack. Okay, that was actually quite successful. Let's see if we can keep this success. Really? They used that money? They used that money to build a bloody, um... Construction complete. Mammoth tank. I'm actually surprised about that. Right. Well, that gives us dominance of their base there. I would say, guys, with... Decent amount of uh, building. Decent amount of authority that we have now won with that little maneuver. 
Alright. Nice choice of music to start this with, too. Primary building selected. Alright, let's make this ours. Building. Fuck you guys. Quite happy with how that went. Let's see if we can totally take the space over. GDI building captured. Building. I don't actually need to totally t ah yeah. The trouble we're gonna have is they are going to every time we damage a building, they're now gonna sell it. Which I guess doesn't matter to us too much. I suppose. Because there's nothing they can really do about that anyway. We do need to know what their power situation is. Yep, yeah, they still have power. Okay, so we are still going to need our assault team. Because of this. So. I think there's only one thing we can do, guys. And that's mass flame tanks. Oh. And unfortunately, that's now our. That's now our furthermost building. But I suppose what we could do. I don't know if it's going to even be worth doing this, to be honest. Construction complete. Construction complete. Reinforcements have arrived. Right, that should hold those guys back anyway. Cool. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements. Not quite sure how many flame tanks we're going to need. Construction complete. Because we need to smash our way in. Building. Our priority, though, is. Construction complete. Building. We're out of cash. Okay. Okay, the harvesting operation is still going fairly smoothly. Yes, sir. Moving out. Because we don't have to guard this patch anymore. Oh, actually, guys, we can have we can we can run a little bit of an experiment. Construction complete. Let's run an experiment for science, of course. Now, I know we can outrange these. We can definitely outrange these guys. But, can we outrange an advanced guard tower? With artillery. Yes! Oh, I did not know that. See those sly peppers? They were going to go and use that money to build themselves a new harvester. But I say no! Alright, let's get an artillery team. They're not going to be able to get anything past that. So that's fine. We got them by the short and curlies now, boys. Let's just go finish the fuckers off. Oh, actually, we need to start building a Temple of Nod. You need to build the Temple of Nod, I think, to finish this mission. Nice. Let's get these guys up here. Need these guys to be protected. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. New construction. Oh yeah, we walk new construction. Oh, we can build MCBs now. Pointless. There we go. That's so fucking cool. Nice. Right, this base 
is ours. So now we can... Oh. Nice try, dicks. Nice try. Well, actually, what we could do... I guess... Oh, we can get helipads now, too. Construction complete. I guess what we could do... New construction options. Primary building selected. On grenadiers. Hold. We don't need grenadiers. We want engineer. Unit Let's have a bit of fun now. Building. Yes. Unit ready. GDI building captured. Building. GDI building. Oh, hello. Don't think so, pal. Don't know what's up and around this way. Let's go check this. Oh, it's like a whole path. I'm going to guess that this leads all the way around. So, yeah. I guess this would have been a good idea to attack. Do this base first. And then you can sweep in around there. Okay, cool. Nice. Question is... Question is... Oh, we've got silos here too. Is this defended at all? That would be my question. Hmm. Nuclear weapon available? Well, it would be rude not to use it, right? Now, there are multiple endings, so we are going to save. Now the nuke, the nuke in this game is brutal. Unlike the very underwhelming iron cannon and flame tank, uh, flame tank, the very underwhelming iron cannon and airstrike. Well, the airstrike's not bad. The nuke is devastating, but you only ever get one of them. So bear that in mind. Now we're going to save. So as I said, there are different endings. I don't know why there's like engineers and shit up there. It seems a bit weird. A bit of a bug maybe? Burn you bastards! Oh, uh, you know what? Because we're pretty flush these days. Really? And look. Okay, and cloud sneezing. I didn't even know cloud was there. Mission complete. There we go, guys. That is the end. Five hours, five minutes that apparently took. Fucking hell. Y'all so Wow. Look at the KD. Holy shit. That was brutal on both sides. Ah. I have to think about my name then for a minute. Holy shit. Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit. For now, relax. And watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. <laughs> Once Could... inside, the world is at my fingertips. Could that be any more 90s? Begin. Oh, God. It just got more 90s. It's like a mix of Matrix, Tron, and Reboot.
Johnny just got hosed. They've got a lot of iron cannons. The world. Where mm. to strike? Mm. Where will the world most keenly feel the blade of GDI treachery? So you've done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. Ooh, why thank you, Kane. Yeah, so we get to just to choose where we destroy. Mmm. Well, obviously the most uh, painful blow would be the White House. Although it could be quite fun to destroy the Houses of Parliament. Ooh. Let's do it. We will get them all. <laughs> nice. Sacrilegious. If only the Iron Cannon really was that powerful in this game. If bloody only. Mind-numbing accident. Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark, and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea. And there we go, guys. That's CNC. Siberian Dawn finished. Oh. And this track is amazing as well. Uh, but we're not quite done yet. No. Um, there are some bonus missions that I want to look at. Um, there is the... Covert Operations, which, you know, I was never really into the Covert Operations um, is a expansion pack, back when expansion packs were, you know, expansion packs. And um, there's a lot of cool missions in there, but they're just, they don't really add anything to the story or the game or anything. However, there are the dinosaur missions, which are like, um, well, you play as Nod hunting dinosaurs. Hmm, which is actually quite interesting and quite funny, uh, and I personally have never played them, so I've seen them quite a lot around the YouTubes, so we are going to be taking a look at that. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it for now, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series, I bloody have. Uh, I'm going to come back with the other three endings. I mean, they're all basically the same, it's just the FMV and the, what the reporter says at the end is slightly different. But I'm going to come back with those. Then we're going to go do the dinosaur missions. There aren't many of those and I don't think they're very very difficult. Uh, I think there's only three.
Ooh, coming attractions. Let me guess. Yeah, we've already seen these. As awesome as they are, we've already seen these. Oh, so good. Right. So, uh, I'm going to do some fancy editing. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving the most famous address in the world, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C.'s renowned White House. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 600 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once the seat of Western democracy. U.S. President Robert Fielding, safe at Camp David at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the U.N. statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Fielding labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admits At the United Nations today, angry political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving Paris's famed Eiffel Tower. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 700 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, unearthing 14 more bodies from what was once Paris's most famous landmark. French President Henri Prichard, safe in London at the time of the attack, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Prichard labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing attack. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, Testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. My friend, Shep is yours. At the United Nations today, angry political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving Berlin's famed Brandenburg Gate. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 900 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once Berlin's most famous landmark. German President Helmut Biermann, safe in London at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Biermann labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard... I'm sorry, Helmut... <laughs> Helmut Biermann? Testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Golden boy of international diplomacy.